eight luxury goods that you should not be purchasing okay i got to eight because you know i love some luxury products so i couldn't make it to 10 on the list so we're gonna just go with eight these are some of the items that are high priced or from those you know high luxury brands that we do not need to be spending our hard-earned money on for many different reasons as i get through the list you will understand quick disclaimer because you know gotta have one this is just my opinion my list of what i think is not worth buying so let's just get started there are many brands that create costume jewelry that does not last it's not even plated gold plated it's not even silver which should be a little more affordable but they're giving us i don't even know what material they'll use the studs whether they're pearl or diamantes or um, crystals they fall off the jewelry so chanel is famous for those types of products or jewelry um, Dior is pretty okay but I don't think any of them have gold or anything of value to them if something is gonna tarnish why spend 500 600 or even a thousand or something dollars on it that's a lot of money for something that's gonna just turn with a little bit of moist or water added to it you could always purchase plated costume jewelry or just ordinary costume jewelry for cheaper you do not need to be paying that much from chanel or whatever so next on the list are slgs and back charms from luxury brands now slgs are small leather goods those little tiny little pouches or bags that you can use to put lipsticks you know um feminine products um hand sanitizer whatever you want to put in there and put them in your handbag so your handbag is neat it is organized and so on yes they are functional but do we need to be spending that much money on them like why do we need a louis vuitton one why do we need a gucci why do we need expensive slgs a subscriber did suggest that said why why viva are you purchasing these expensive slgs when you could just purchase a mimco slg and um you know use that instead in your handbags but i even think mimco is overpriced is it just me i think it is but you could also buy those little pouches from anywhere and use those in your bags. I mean, if they're in your bags, no one's gonna really see them, isn't it, right? I don't think it'll hurt to cut that out. Then you'll have more money for other things. Some bags are just missing something, you know, a little, a little touch to them. And bag charms work great for that. But we do not need expensive bag charms. We do not need a $200 bag charm or even more, no. You don't and I actually bought this little pom-pom on eBay and it serves its purpose it's so cute and there are times when I don't feel like having a bag charm it's not something that you will use on a regular basis so why spend so much on it and you might get sick of it or the style will just it'll look outdated or tacky to you in a couple years so why spend that much you'll end up with a bunch of bag charms that you don't like anymore what do you do with them it's like the lv chain charms and they get scratched up and things like that so next on my list are shoes okay this will come as a surprise to people because i love shoes i love luxury shoes i just love the details that go in the making of it the creativity of the designs and so on on and most of them are really comfortable on my feet now that brings me to my first point in terms of shoes if the shoe is super uncomfortable to the point that it gives you blisters and so on and it's a luxury shoe not worth it and some people have this experience with their Louboutins now I don't I like my Louboutins they fit on me very well I they don't hurt as much as other people say they do and most of the time when I go to a function I'm that girl that just sits in the corner looking cute you know <laughs> so it's not like I'll be running around in my Louboutins anyway 
and yes so if comfort is a problem for you yeah don't buy luxury shoes if luxury shoes are shoes that you wear every once in a while or only on special occasions i would say they're not worth it because you're not getting your cost of wear out of them so if you're paying a thousand dollars is it worth you purchasing something a thousand dollars and not wearing it as much as you should and it's mostly spending its time on the shelf then in that case i would say don't be buying luxury shoes but in my case i love heels i would say i wear them quite often i buy heels that are manageable for me so if you like the style the look of a luxury shoe that has a high pointed heel and you're not very good at walking in them i would say it's not worth you purchasing obviously because you're uncomfortable and you can't walk in the shoes so it's best for you to buy you know shorter heeled shoes for example i have sockets that are 120 millimeter i also have the 100 millimeter height heel from christian louboutin and they're great of course they're different comfort levels but they are great so i know they say beauty is pain but honestly it does not always have to be painful if you really like the shoe buy it in a heel height that is more comfortable for you and that you will get your cost per wear out of the item the next one is a little i don't even know whether i should be saying this but designer fabric bags i i don't understand that because it's not leather i can appreciate the craftsmanship of the fabric you know denim whatever it is but i'm not spending seven thousand and above on a fabric bag i just and i i'm not really sure of the durability and color transfer and things like that maybe i'm a little old school i just think leather is the way to go and i'm not really a trend kind of person i like my classics a lot more than trends and especially if i'm paying that much i need to be guaranteed that this bag is going to be in style and worth my money in a couple of years okay so i'm the type to go for the chanel trendy cc oh i love that bag and i want that's like my perfect chanel bag okay the top handle the size just the let me know in the comment section if there are any items or bags whatever they may be that you know that you would buy no matter what the price was there's the dior lagered bags they're fabric it's a strong fabric but they look like fancy shopping bags or fancy i don't know you can just buy more affordable ones of the same style of course there have been imitations of the dior bag but it's not like an original idea i would not buy that luggage dior bag it's not worth it for me and on the topic of bags luggage bags why would you be buying expensive luxury luggage bags it's only gonna be thrown around at the airport and in the plane you don't know where it'll be sitting it's rubbing against things and it's gonna get dirty scratched and it could get stolen you're basically screaming steal me when you're pushing around a louis vuitton luggage bag okay unless you're going on a private plane <laughs> something like that I would not say that luggage bags from luxury brands are worth it. When you're flying economy, they're gonna throw your bag around because you know, they have a lot to do, they're busy, they have a lot of bags to get to and they need to make room for more to come. So they just throw things and squish things. Your bag is not going to be taken care of. So then maybe let's say you're flying business class, maybe they'll take care of your luggage a lot better. But who's to guarantee that? Anyway, let's get back to the video. Next items on the list are makeup, lipsticks, nail polish, skincare. I know you'll be thinking I need to invest in medical grade skincare like I was thinking a couple years ago or was it last year 
no. You can find really good skincare in your local chemist, drugstore, wherever, that work even better than luxury skincare brands, okay? Not to mention any names, but you just need to go see a dermatologist to determine what kind of skin you're working with and they should direct you with skincare products to use that are within your budget. Now there's a wide variety to choose from, so do not be spending so much money on those things. Now, makeup, oh, I love makeup, but not to the extent where I will be buying thousands of palettes or hundreds of palettes. Um, I do have a lot more than I need. I have plenty that I have not even used or opened. There are so many brands out there that have different types of palettes, different colors. You have more high-end, you know, uh, Pat McGrath, you have Natasha Denona that are really expensive. I don't know if I can say they are worth it. There are less expensive brands that have really good quality, that does the job, you will look pretty and no one will know. There is something about the texture of high-end makeup and some cases you can tell the difference. Um, but I think with eyeshadow you can kind of get away with it. I have high-end lip glosses and lipsticks and people around me tell me they can tell the difference between a cheap lip gloss and my high-end lip glosses. I know. But of course there are alternative eyeshadows that do the job. Things like foundation, there are regulations that makeup brands have to follow in this country. Any foundation that you get, you can kind of trust that it wouldn't have any bad ingredients in there. It's not fake, it's not, you know. So as long as you buy from the counter of the store. Anyway, the point is, if you can save some money on makeup, do that and lipstick you can save some money on lipstick do that as well and nail polish i do do my own nails most of the time it's not great but <laughs> sometimes i'm in a rush and i just need something cute and that's been working out fine for me so when it comes to nail polishes i'm not looking out to buy chanel nail polish i love the chanel nail polishes but i'm not purchasing anymore um i have other brands that i purchase if you're curious about that, let me know. I can make a video about different alternatives of affordable products that I use. So when it comes to skincare, I, like I said, you're looking for medical grade and so on, and you want the best for your skin, of course. But disclaimer, I am not a dermatologist. This is why I suggested you go and see a dermatologist so that you know what products are right for your skin type instead of wasting time trying different things that aren't working out. But if you need help from an expert, go ahead and see a dermatologist. And if they suggest a particular product, then go by that because I mean, they're the expert. I'm just talking about me who goes around experimenting with different skincare products. And I was gonna dip my little fit into high-end skincare and now i'm thinking otherwise i'm choosing accordingly my skin has been changing over the years and i just pay attention to what i need whatever my needs are i find solutions okay so i have been asked a couple times by some of my subscribers to do some skincare routines and recommendations and so on and i'm thinking of doing that on my vlog channel keep a lookout for that and i think maybe i should share my skincare and so on because even when i go out like all the time i get compliments on my skin what are you putting on your skin what are you using um even when i go to like buy makeup the makeup artists are always asking can i please do your makeup in private can i can I, can I do your makeup in private? You have a nice canvas, you know, so um, yeah, maybe I should, I should do something about that. Now, luxury t-shirts. If you buy yourself a Gucci shirt, written all Gucci, and you go out and you see 10 other people wearing the same Gucci t-shirt, you are probably better off 
buying a shirt from an like you know this unknown underground brands and you know you have that exclusivity when you walk in instead of just buying what everybody else has you're paying premium money for a logo and you're basically out there advertising for this brand do not mind those celebrities that are actually paid to wear and showcase those logos on their clothing um, you and I are not so I have no business advertising for those brands I mean you can find silk or satin scarves from any brand really I know Hermes has amazing designs on their scarves and they just they just look really good but I mean we could just settle for other scarves that are the same material and good designs too we just have to do the research and find the right brands okay I should have added this to designer bags but why do we need designer beach bags or you only use it one season a year why do you need it why do you need a designer sun hat what's special about it really i could not bring myself to put luxury fragrances onto this list because there are some that are actually worth the price but there's not many of them you can find such brands that have good quality fragrances that do everything you want a good fragrance to do and not have to pay a thousand dollars for a fragrance okay i'm just saying this to say it's 2021 you know our priorities have to change because of the issues that are happening in the world so if we can save a little bit of money or redirect our spending because at the end of the day we are gonna spend we are gonna spend but if you redirect it and have our priorities right then we will be fine regardless of anything people spend on whatever they feel like you know they'll spend on their cars some spend on fashion some spend on travel you know so um yeah i thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up leave me a comment about your thoughts I always appreciate a good comment. Go ahead and watch my other videos if you wish to do so and I will see you in my next one.